Yo guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how pro players reduce their processors inside Windows to get a huge performance boost, lower their input delay and make their game run a whole lot smoother. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into the video. So guys, the first thing that we're going to be doing is heading down to the taskbar, right clicking and going to the task manager. Inside here, clicking on startup and inside this box, disabling anything you don't want opening up when you boot your PC. So for me, I have everything disabled as I like manually opening things when my PC turns on. So go through, click on it and click disable in the bottom right if you don't want it opening up when your PC turns on. Once you've done that, you can close off this and that is the first tweet done. The next thing we're going to be doing is heading over to Discord and I'm going to leave Risen's Discord server linked in the description. You can join this server and scroll down on the left hand side to the free Opti section and right here you can click on this process lowering tab and download this go file link right here. This will open, all you need to do is click download and this WinRAR file will download. You just need to drag this onto your desktop, just like this. Extract this, so right here, the Risen Process and Lowering Pack. Click OK to extract it to the desktop. You'll be able to see it right here. Just double click this. The first thing you wanna do inside here is double click on System Configuration. Click Open, head to Boot, head to Advanced Options tick number of processors, drop this down, select the maximum number, click OK, click apply, click OK again. The next one will be auto runs, you want to run this as an administrator, click agree. And this is basically just an advanced version of your task manager. So just go through and disable everything inside here that you don't want booting up when your PC turns on. So once you've done all that, all you need to do is exit out of this. You don't need to save anything. And the next one is Task Manager, disabling the startup apps in there. But we've already done that. So we're going to be running this v4 batch file as an administrator. It'll create a restart point automatically. So you just need to wait for this. And as you can see, we have some tweaks inside here that we're going to be doing. So the first one is disable Bluetooth. So click one, click enter, then click any geek to continue. The next one is disable Microsoft Store. I personally use the Microsoft Store, so I'm not going to be doing this one. But to do it, you just click 2 on your keyboard and click enter, and then you click any key to continue to get back to this page. Now, number 3, to disable printer services, just click 3, click enter, and it will automatically do that. 4, disable all of the useless services you don't need on your system, click enter, and all the services that you don't need will be disabled. Then, just click any key to continue. And if you find out that you don't like the tweaks, you can revert them all. You can open this back up, run it as admin and revert the tweaks, or you can go back and do the restart point. That is everything inside this panel. So once we've done this, we can just exit off this and we can move on to the next tweak. Now what we're gonna be doing is clicking Windows I to open up the settings, heading over to gaming, making sure game bar is disabled, heading down to captures, making sure you don't have captures enabled, then heading down to game mode and making sure you turn game mode on. Once you've done this, head to graphic settings and make sure you turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well. Once you've done that, you can exit off this and we can move on to the next tweak. The last thing we're going to be doing is clicking this little arrow here and these are all the things that are using resources on our PC. So if you have any of these open that you aren't currently using when you're gaming, you want to just right click and click close. You can do that for everything. And then for everybody on Windows 10, you want to click the Windows key and type in background apps. Click on this and make sure you turn off background apps. You don't want any of these apps running in the background, so just make sure you turn them off. And that is the final tweak done. That is going to be everything for this video, guys. If it did help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you do want to go and check out Risen's paid tweaks, I'll leave those links in the description as well. If you are buying those, you can use my code RUFFY at checkout and you get 15% off any of the packages. But thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.